include everything. All right, guys. So we are back in the Kithgar dungeon. Second comic, Kith Maze. Uh, basic loop and wall loops. So, or basic syntax and wall loops. So, should be similar to what we've been doing thus far. Navigate the maze. Okay, so it's almost exactly like the last level. So, um, we're just gonna have to set it up a little bit more on our own. So, if you remember correctly, we're gonna set up a wall loop. In our wall loop, we're gonna say a condition like if if some number is equal to this run our wall loop until that number is not equal to this in this case we're just gonna set true so all we want to do here is say while this is true move right our hero then move up our hero so as we run move right move up move right move down and the whole maze follows that pattern so we're we're good to go at that point So let's go ahead and run and test our logic. Move right, move up, move right, move down. Right, move up, move right, move down. All right, so pretty straightforward. It'll eventually hit the end here. We'll collect all our gems and we'll be good to go. Very nice. Uh, it looks like we're getting a new item here. Our fake fur hat. Don't want to get PETA upset, so we have our, fo uh, our, fo our fo faux, faux fur hat, I believe is how you're supposed to say. So our Davy Crockett hat here. Dread door. Basic syntax, wall loops, and strings. All right. Let's see what this does. This gives us more health, so we're a little bit tankier. I have to say, I love whoever did, did the animations on this sort of stuff. Um, so, all we want to do is destroy the door, and then we want to get the chest. So, we're not quite sure how many hits the door takes, so what we'll do is we'll just set up a wall loop, and we'll say hero dot attack, and then we just want to put door in there. So just beat on this door until there isn't a door to beat on. Bam! And get up, give us our chest. Pretty straightforward. So, uh, known enemy. Doesn't look like we need to equip anything. Your hero must survive. Your self dot attack crat is the same as enemy is equal to crat self dot attack. Okay. So the, they want us to use variables. You see right here, they have a var enemy one, enemy two, enemy three, and they just have us attack like this. So we can we can kind of follow the same pattern. We want to say, look, hero dot attack enemy three or Ursa. Uh, we're gonna need to attack them twice right now. They take three. They take two attacks to the die. So we'll do it. enemy three. And since that's all we're concerned about. I believe that should be it. So, attack one, attack two, attack three. Nice. So all three ogres die. We're gonna get uh, a new item here with crude glasses. Um, looking pretty baller. I almost bought a pair of wood glasses the other day. I thought they were pretty silent. Um, let's see. This gives us a new function that's going to allow our object or our hero to find the nearest enemy. So essentially, uh, we'll be able to target the nearest enemy based off of this function. Instead of us having to enter the name, we're gonna then store the value. All right, cool. So you'll see here, create a variable, call it enemy one. Now we're with our new function, we're gonna find the nearest enemy. Happens to be this guy. We don't need to know their names anymore. We then wanna attack that guy. Then we want to find the nearest enemy too. Attack that guy twice. And so here, we'll say, look, there's three enemies. We want our hero to find the nearest one. And then we want to have him attack the nearest one. Now, there's probably a better way of doing this in a wall loop. Oh, 
was like, why is that in here? Alright, var. Alright, so hero dot attack enemy three. Right now we're not gonna worry about doing this in a while loop. We'll worry about that in future examples. Alright, pretty straightforward. They give you a lot of help on this one. Collect your gems, select your experience, and move on. Lowly Kithman. So, basic syntax and variables. We want our guide not to die, as in every objective. Collect the gems, and kill the nearest enemy. Favorable will attack it. Alright, so... As of right now, they just want us to create a second variable and attack it. So let's go ahead and just copy pasta this over. We'll call it. We'll change this to enemy two, and then we want to attack enemy two twice. That will get. That will kill both these guys. Let's see what where our hero returns to, and then we can calculate the move. So it always is going to return to our guy here. So we can move down, move right, move right. So after we do that, we want to move down. Move down, move right, move right. Let's go ahead and run that. Kill, kill them both, move down. Oh, I moved down too many times. My mistake. You only need to move down once, move right, move right. There we go. So really the thing to take from, away from this video is being able to store variables and understanding the interactions that functions have with objects. So everything that we're doing, you're really thinking of the hero. Did I not, did I not get this? What happened here? Code combat. Saying I did not, saying I did not complete this. All right, I don't know what happened. There we go. Um, Alright guys, so in the next video, we'll uh, be going over closing distance. And it looks like we're getting close to the end. So, um, depending on how hard this Kithgard Mastery is, it may get its own vi video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And support me on Patreon. Check out wayup.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.